YouTube, it's Brian Phillips again. It's been a long time. We have a box. It's not wrapped in garbage bags, so it's very weird. This box may or may not contain multiple items. <laughs> if it does, we'll pretend it only had one. <laughs> so I'm going to look inside first. What do we have in here? I don't know what just happened. Ooh, that is so cool. It's an articulating construction truck. Oh, that is so neat. 124 scale cat branded. This is gonna be awesome. All right, we'll pause and come right back. Okay, so we're gonna open this thing up and show you what it's made of. This is available on horizonhobby.com. We'll link to it below. If you guys are ever wanting to help support the channel, that is probably the number one way you can do it beyond watching the videos, liking, subscribing, and sharing these things. Obviously comments are always accepted and we try to reply to most of them. I would say about 95% of the time we reply within a couple of days, unless we're just really log jammed with lots of content. And we have been lately. Mm -hmm. This is really nice looking actually. I'm excited. We've done reviews on a few different um, construction equipments. And this looks way nicer than what we're used to. This is made by Diecast Masters Real Replicas. 1 24th scale. It does dump. It moves forward. It has lights and sounds. Bucket and model driving control for approximately 30, 20 to 30 seconds for the demo. Okay, it looks like it runs on a 2S. 2S provided, 2S pack. Um, since this is being shipped from a North American distributor in North America to North America, it does come with AAAs, super nice. Uh, this is not a lithium ion, this might be a lithium ion pack. I don't know what type of battery right it is. Here. Lipo. This is a lipo? Mm -hmm. So it does. That looks, okay. I guess it is, it's a 14.5. 14, 14 is that what it is? 600 milliamp hour. It does come with a charger, but it's a USB style charger. And then it's got a little bounce charge plug like this. So only bummer about that is it is a unique charger here. So we better get that going right now. In fact, let's just show you if this thing is gonna work on a regular Hextronics balance charge plug, which is gonna be a little bit different. Let's just, here's a random example. See how that looks different? Of course, this is not a a 2S pack, let's, let's find a 2S pack. We just reviewed one, here's a 2S pack. So you can see it's got a little bit different type of connector. It's the same order, so we may be able to use a standard balance charger, except this only has the balance lead. There is no discharge lead, if you will. So we're probably gonna be stuck using this charger. Okay, so we'll just turn on this Spectrum 30 amp power supply. Obviously, you're not gonna have to buy that. I'm just using it because it has a USB plug. And uh, of course, you could use uh, something like this as well, just something that has a suitable output. This, this calls for uh, five volts at two amps, and this can produce 1,000 milliamp hours uh, at 7.4 volts. So let's try this too, just to show you what it looks like. There's a red light that comes on. When you plug this in, it's gonna to go to red and green. Green flashing. When it's done charging, that'll stop. And basically, I might have the way to charge it with a more robust charger, but we're just, for the time being, we're just gonna go with that. And then, if you wanna test the voltage on these to see if they're charged, you can just unplug this and then I have these little voltage alarms that I use in the airplanes. They have the same pin pitch. So you can actually use that too. 7.69, so 3.85 volts. That's pretty much storage voltage. That being said, you're probably not gonna be able to get them into these pins. Yeah, see, it's not gonna quite make the plug on a smart plug, uh, smart, an XBC smart checker. So we're plugged in, it's charging now. We'll just leave that out so it's ready to rock and roll. And what all do we need to do to get this thing unboxed? Let's go ahead and pull out the transmitter. I always like to get the charger going as soon as possible so that we can see how these things run. It's a nice small transmitter. 
quality plastic. It's got safety warnings on it. Fits an adult hand okay. Good spring recovery. There's only an up button, there's no down button. There's no, okay, so there's these two buttons. One trigger, these don't, okay. I don't think they do anything, that does. This is on, this is off. Okay, so pretty simple. Looks like there is a screw for protection of the children so they don't eat the batteries, that's always handy. We are gonna need one Chinese screwdriver if you can accommodate. Mm -hmm. So this is what I mean by a Chinese screwdriver. We get these all the time in the airplanes and they work really nice for these small screws. If you have a precision screwdriver set, you'd be able to do that or jeweler, jeweler set. You do have to have a screwdriver to take that out, which is ironic because they provide everything you need except for the screwdriver. So if you don't have a screwdriver, you'll have to figure that out. We don't have really young kids, so we're not worried about them getting into the triple A's. What I'd be more worried about is if you get a, a 3225 or 2532 or whatever they are, they're flat and they look like a piece of the candy. The button batteries. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones that the kids like to eat, really. Triple A's, I haven't heard that that's a big issue, but I think the liability issue is there still. So these are the provided batteries. Flat goes to the spring, flat goes to the spring. Pretty simple stuff. We'll go ahead and put the screw back just to make sure we don't have problems with this popping out. Seems like high quality plastic. It's not super brittle, like it's gonna break on us. That's always handy because you know the kids are gonna be playing with it rough. Okay, so then, this thing is heavy, that's awesome. Looking for how exactly to get this out. Oh, it's taped. It's, it's a half clamshell setup. So we'll just cut these here all the way around. And basically, we'll just work our way around. Horizon does a really nice job on stuff like this. I'm honestly didn't even realize they sold this stuff until just the other week. My wife was searching and she found it. And we are gonna review the whole series for you. Okay, so we're just grabbing this out. Oh, wow. It's all plastic, but it's really nice plastic. Ooh, rubber tires, look at that, that's so cool. That is really cool. I hope this drives good. Okay, so good foam packaging, retail packaging. It comes in um, with the clear plastic. So if you want to display them, definitely okay. They're saying that this is an eight year old plus. That seems probably about right. Obviously with close supervision, you could probably give it to just about any kid. Okay, looks like we have a screwdriver here. So we're gonna turn this upside down, grab that. We don't normally need an unboxing and build video for this type of equipment. There's an on off switch. looks like on is here. There's a horizontal line or that's off actually. This is on. Couldn't read that at first. And then there's also a latch here. So you don't have to keep the screw in there if you don't want to. There we go. Sometimes they have retainer screws like this has a little retention washer on it. Okay. And then of course the plug is gonna plug in here and it's just gonna take the outside two leads and that's gonna be your discharge leads on the battery pack. So for the sake of the video, we may be cutting our charge sequence short by a little bit. So let's double check where we are. So far it's two cells are at 7.89, which is at 3.95 compared to 3.94. So just keeping that in mind, We'll come back and give this a full proper charge. The best course of action would be to charge this thing, but for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and get it plugged in. So it's plugged in here. Since this thing doesn't have moving parts like a propeller to chop my fingers off, I'm not really super worried about safety factors here. Okay. Normally we review flying aircraft on the channel. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, we do airplanes predominantly, but we've done quite a few of these things too over the years. Okay, so turn this transmitter on. It's got a red flashing light. Then turn on, oh cool. Okay, so all the way down it will overdrive. 
all the way up. It's got a quick dump motion. That's the trigger button. Yep. Then we've got left and right articulating body. Oh, good, good proportional control so you can go really slow. That is cool. Do you see the lights on the front there, camera crew? Mm -hmm. Good proportional controls too. So you can really get some finite control. That's about 50% speed there. We got beeping. Oh, and then there's turn signals too. Did you see that too yeah. when I was turning? Okay, so let's see how many wheels drive. So it's just back wheel drive here. No differential. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the ground and we'll drive it in some carpet here real quick. That's full speed there. So it's not exceptionally fast. Okay, so the six wheel drive would be nice on that bump. The proportional controls are good. I don't feel like they're overly sensitive to where the kids are gonna have trouble with it. Articulating bodies would be one of the harder things to drive in my opinion. But it is nice because you can see what direction you're going. Looks like we found the height limit there. Mm -hmm. I like the tracks it leaves in the carpet too. All the way down it'll overdrive like we mentioned earlier. Okay, so let's see if we can get something uh, in terms of weight. Let's back up to our construction site area over here. Okay, so we'll put some blocks in here, see what kind of weight we've got. We'll just put probably, we'll see if it'll do four. Oh yeah, it gets around just fine with four. Feels pretty loaded down. Now let's see if it's got enough power to dump. Oh, that's cool. It worked good, nice, nice. slick, nice slick bucket too, or dump truck bed. It's easy to drive. Now this has, I believe this has a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about losing eyesight of it. You don't need line of sight. There you go. There it goes. So you're gonna have to watch your transitions on your carpet. If you're going from like a hardwood floor to carpet. And since it's only two wheel drive, you're gonna lose traction when you get up on top, on top of things if you lose those back two wheels on the ground. So I guess it's probably better that they pick the back two wheels as opposed to the front two wheels. Because you have plenty of power, you can definitely drive through items like that. Okay, so now there's also a button here, shuts off the sound. So if you got oh. kids sleeping, there is a sound for when it goes up and down. Hear it? Okay, shut the sound back off. This button does not seem to do anything. And then these buttons are not active as well. So it's just your articulating body, forward, backward, and then up and down. So it's a whole three channel system. And then of course you've got the control channel for the audio, which, which is, is also pretty cool. the lights too. Oh, the lights shut off? Yeah. Yep, looks like the lights shut off, that's yep. true. So let's load this thing up with blocks and just see if we can dump a little bit more. I wanna see if it's, if we can kind of overdo it a little bit. This is usually kind of where, where the toys fall short when you get the real cheap ones. And this one, this one's a higher quality one. So let's see if it can dump that much. That's way more, well, it's got a lot of power. Yeah. Okay, so, uh-oh. Oh yeah, totally, totally fine. Drives right through it. You can run all the controls at the same time. So they are all independent controls, which is really good. Okay, so let's get this back on the counter so we can look at it a little closer. We have some more details here, which is really cool. These are rubbery, so they aren't gonna break the hydraulic hoses. And of course the mirrors. Those are gonna be the first things to break when your kids start playing with a hard. Mm -hmm. 
in terms of the look, I really like the look. It's got a lot of nice scale details. Show them the windshield. It's got a curved windshield, steering wheel, seat, instrument clusters. That's really cool. Here, show them from the passenger side. Very helpful. And this is a model 745 articulated truck. Hmm. I really That's like cool. it. It's yeah. neat. It's definitely the gear set between the articulation point is exposed when it turns, which is not going to be good for your super scale aficionados. But I can definitely say, and some wheel slippage there, but the thing that's nice is you really do have nice control of it. You, you, can, really, you can really get it going slow if you want. And eat, here I'll slow, mm -hmm. just to where it overwhelms it. Good proportional controls. When you get into these construction equipment, you want the proportional controls to work really good. This so, says truck bed loading. 2.2 pounds. 2.2 pounds. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's yeah. a lot of weight. Yeah. Uh, you could definitely, I mean, you're not going to find uh, typically that dirt weighs that much, not that small not amount. That'd, amount. Be, mm -hmm. that'd be a lot of, lot of dirt. And our um, kids use them with like Legos and stuff like that. Yeah, things like this. It'll work good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it. It's it's nice. We've, we've reviewed a number of these uh, scale looking construction vehicles and this is probably one of the nicer ones we've seen so far it's also quite a bit more expensive than some of the cheap ones that we've done the problem is if you get the cheap ones you're going to be really disappointed yeah. and uh if some of the details on this like the articulation point being able to see that gear if you can't handle that you're going to be getting into the big bucks to find something that's not going to show that so the proportional controls definite win okay three different full channels of control the audio and the lights, I think it's a little bit weird that the lights shut off when it turns. That must be a cat thing. I kind of doubt they actually do that. But the point is, I think it's very good. It's very easy to control. You could definitely scare the cat with these things. That'd be very fun. <laughs> um, and I think the kids are gonna like it a lot. So without further ado, we'll put a link in the video description. If you guys wanna buy one for your very own, you can get that shipped to your home and definitely come back for more. We're gonna try to review the whole lineup of these. Thanks for watching.